Good morning, it's Beverly Cole, and I thought I would just start the day and include you in my day. Uh, just a day that, just like every other day here, uh, I get a late start. I'm a, not a morning person when it comes to climbing out of bed. I am a morning person if I'm out and I'm ready to go. I can't stop talking. Might drive people crazy, but when I'm home, I take my morning really, really slow. This is JJ. Hi, Jay. Hi, Tate. Hi, Kitty. And he's my buddy. And I unfortunately took his seat away from him. He was kind of mad at me because, um, let me just show you down the hall here. See that closed door? That is my office. And in my office, I am working on a pastel. And I have two cats, and you know how cats are. They're so curious. Well, please excuse the mess. I mean, this is the state of how I live. Maybe you can relate. I don't know. But I'm working on a pastel, and JJ loves to sit right in that window and look out at my plants and watch people go by. But he can't do that right now unless I'm in here because of my pastels, which are just laid out everywhere. And over here I have a tin box on a chair with my surface, which is what I use when I am uh, doing a pastel. This is for someone who gave me their picture of themselves and their husband, and she wants this painting for him for Christmas. So um, I'm doing that. And over here will be another project, which is a cradle um, where I live. The woodworkers every Christmas will make these cradles and they paint them white and they give the art club 25 of them or so. And then we each take one and paint it. And this year I'm gonna do something different than painting it. Painting these is not my favorite job, um, but it's for a good cause, it's for Toys for Tots. And then I have my other pastels here and my rosemary doll that I made years ago and some candy that I forgot to give my grandkids when I was there, so I'm going up next month and I'll give it to them then. And my Trim Healthy Mama book, which I need to get using more than I am. <laughs> but, um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm semi-retired. Actually should be retired, but life's too much fun to retire. There's way too many fun things to do. So anyway, did JJ come in here with me? JJ! So anyway, he's not allowed in here. Sorry if I made you dizzy. But he's not allowed in here. Bathroom. And back to my art room. Hopefully he's in here. Yes, he is. Look, he's decided he may like that window after all. So this is my messy craft room. And that's where I sit and work. And you can see my TV, which is at a really strange angle to work, but it's there. My special lights that I just got, and I absolutely love them. I'll give you a tour another time. But right here is the box that I, let me move this pillow this box that I um, brought yesterday to my art, no, not art, it was the coloring group. I belong to a coloring group and an art club here. So in here are all my markers and a coloring book someone gave me that I'm not interested in using, so I brought it back last week, but nobody needed it. So this is something I'm working on right now. New stamps. Okay, so here are the flowers that I was coloring. Now that looks clearer. Sorry, I have a new phone, so I'm still learning. But there's my, um, these are morning glories. So I was coloring those yesterday, and here's some that I started. Here is a chickadee, and these will be in some new stamp sets coming up. So what I do usually is I go to the coloring group to kind of support the other artists, and then um, I color, which is kind of, you know, coloring to me is, uh, relaxing but I enjoy doing it with other people so anyway uh, today I'm going to work here and I think but before I start I want to show you some new stuff that I got um, being a pastel artist um, I decided to get some new pastels which are a hard pastel by Prismacolor and look how beautiful check out this box I mean look this is huge it's beautiful and I don't know I get chills just looking at this stuff but new pastels are hard pastels so you can get you know really nice base drawing and um and uh, just beautiful and I'm so excited it's like getting a new box of candy then I bought two colors that are not in this set because I watched this uh, artist called Alan Picard um I'll put his link below he's excellent 
Um, and I do pastel portraits, so he said these two colors here were really great to get. Um, let's see, this one is called Garnet. Garnet. Seems like it's clearer if I bring the camera to there. And then this one is Cordovan. Yeah, so those two are not in this uh, set of 48. And I just, so I just purchased those separately. And I got those at Dick Blick. And they packaged them so great. I mean, look how they did this. All the sponginess. And then this was all wrapped up. And they did a very nice job packaging. I was very pleased. And then I got a package of pastel paper. And I got it in gray tones. So these are beautiful too. These are beautiful. I mean, oh, the colors from dark, dark to, you know, the colors are just yummy, 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 yummy. And they go all the way to this white. So perfect for me. Love it. You got to have good paper. You got to have good pastels to do a good job because just like paint, it's got more, uh, more pigment. So you can just swipe one swipe and you get all oh, this beautiful color. Whereas, you know, if you get the lesser ones, which I have lots of those too, um, then you, uh, then you need to use more. Now I'm going to be doing videos for glitters galore. I used to work for sparkle and sprinkle. So up here you can see my, some of my, uh, these are glitters. And then over here, are my embossing powders and other yummy things that they make. And right there you can see I don't drink a, a, that much Patron, but those I'm saving for a project um, where I'm going to use boxes. And so that'll be another thing that we'll be able to do. Here's my collection of washi tape, my control center, <laughs> and then I do collages. So this one I did in a class. That was a lot of fun. And um, here are some more of my collages, which I love doing. And I enjoy um, also doing yard sales and stuff. So I'm going to take you along on a yard sale with me or go to a thrift store with me once in a while because that is awesome. Right here's where I usually keep all my markers and stuff. They're not there. So anyway, um, there's so much more junk in here, but I'm not going to spend all that time doing that. I just wanted to show you um, my setup here, and I will be sharing more with you as we go. But right now, I'm going to do some more coloring. So let's get to it. So this is what I was working on yesterday, and this is a set of Morning Glories. It's going to be a Morning Glory set. But um, today, uh, I just want to share with you the markers that I used, which were mostly Nouveau markers, which are the Nouveau markers, um, because these are the ones that I got when I worked with Sparkle and Sprinkle. They represented Nouveau also. And so I have a lot of those, and those are my newest ones. So they have a lot of ink. Um, I also use some um, Spectrum Noir, which is, uh, here's my old good old Spectrum Noir matte, um, chart and this is my nouveau chart and i left these home yesterday which was a real struggle i didn't realize how um, dependent i was on these charts for my colors but i also have spectrum noir and because their labels are so right on with the colors that i don't need a chart when i pick up a color that's prismacolor i know what color it is which is really cool and these are artist grade i love them and they're not refillable but i don't care so I've had those a long time. So I used a combination yesterday, and I also used my two favorite Prismacolor pencils, which I've shared before. That is the Chris, uh, Indigo and um, Crimson Red. Where are you? Crimson Red and Indigo Blue, and I use those to shade. So if you look at my um, newest, one of my new sets of the Autumn Leaves, the um, Autumn's, Autumn's, Autumn's Gifts, did I call it? Autumn's. Yeah, something like that, can't remember. Um, you will see there's a whole set of digital um, leaves that are just shaded with the blue and red pencil. And I love them. And you can color them any color you want right over that shading and you've got shading. So um, I'm going to continue with this and I'm going to use my charts this time so that I can see the colors. Now, 
if I recall, for my um, for my um, morning glories right here, looking at my chart, which is great now because I have it, I used 433 in the violets for the, here you can see it, right? Because this is what we're gonna color today. And then I also used a very pale green, which I believe was Spectrum Noir. And if I look at my Spectrum Noir, I believe it was CG1. Yep, it was, because it's sticking up, CG1, okay? So now I know, now that I'm home, that those two colors are what I used. So I'm gonna lay those out next to me so that I have them handy. 433 and I keep my um, spectrum noirs for lack of space I keep them in these little bins from Ikea and I hook them right onto my little cart from Ikea you probably have one everybody seems to have one and I'm looking for that 433 and I'm having a hard time finding that 433 oh there it is see it's because the labels just don't go with the color so here's 433 that was my lightest color okay so now those colors are already there and I haven't quite finished this one, but I'll get to the leaves later. I wanna finish these flowers. I also used, looking at my, uh, okay, back to the Nouveau markers, I used some other colors. So uh, let's get started though. I don't wanna have you sitting there waiting for me. I'm gonna use 436, which is right here next to the 433. 436, 436. And here you, I mean, the colors just don't really match up. I mean, yeah, they don't match up. So we're going to use 436 and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in, which is very simple. You just color in and I'm not going to color in where that pink is. I also don't want to color all the way down inside because what's funny about a morning glory, and I'm sure there's other flowers like this, but I'm sorry for the shaking. Oh goodness, that's not good. Um, I'll try not to shake. But you know, a lot of flowers are darker in the center and then get lighter as they go out, but not the morning glories. Morning glories are lighter in the center. So it was kind it's kind of a working backwards kind of thing, which was Oopsie for me, I got um, automatically put, went and put some dark in the center here where the shadow's going like, oh no. But because you can remove color with alcohol markers, it turned out okay. Okay, so, am I shaking? Gosh, that's shaking a lot. Don't shake. Let me see if I can tighten this thing up. Hmm. Okay, let's draw that. Put some more weight on it. Okay, maybe that'll help. Okay, so can you see me coloring? All right. So I'm coloring around. Okay. All right, I'm going to do one at a time so you guys don't have to sit through every flower just to show you how it works. Then I'm going to go back uh, to what looks like I used some pink and PL1, I used PL1 from the Spectrum Noir, and you can mix your markers. There is no reason why you cannot. PL1, pink, which is extremely light. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so then I used PL1 down in here. Oops, <gasps> stop. With the PL1, I even went across, if I recall, right across the other pinks, because it didn't matter. Okay, now these two colors are not necessarily easy to blend together because they are not next to each other. I mean, they're, you know, there's a lot of different marker colors in between these two. So what I'm going to do, let me reach over here because I can do it on my glass here, but I want to do it where you can see. Sorry about the noise. These are covers from my pizza joint that I like to go to. <laughs> and I've been saving them because they make excellent pa uh, palettes. Take the larger end of your marker and scribble. Now you can hardly see this pink. But wait, I don't want the pink. What a dumb dumb. Okay, I want the purple. So I'm gonna put it right over the pink it doesn't matter because I'm gonna blend them anyway. I'm going to blend, make my own color. 
which if you've used alcohol markers before, then you might already know how to do this, but let's watch me do it. So there's my purple and it's on my plastic palette. And you can leave these on here and reactivate them just like watercolors. If you use your marker over these later, the color will still be there. And what I'm doing is putting it on my pink marker and making my own color. And when you do that, you can blend those two colors together beautifully. Okay, so there's the two colors blended. Then to blend them even more, we're going to uh, continue layering color. So now I'm going to use my next darkest purple from the set here, and I'm gonna go to the 443, do I get a 443 or 441? 443. Three. Yes. Okay, and we're going to add some darker around here and down where the petals may overlap. And because this color is next on the color wheel, this should be easier to blend. Um, and I usually start with my, I try to start with a color that I can maybe go darker with. Sometimes it's my lightest color. Sometimes it's a medium color. It just depends on what I'm doing. Right here with the lightest blending in the center, which is kind of a brain switch for me. It's kind of like, ooh, going from to that lighter center, for some reason it kind of throws me off a little bit, but that's okay. Um, um, my brain can use a little extra work. It's not gonna hurt me. That'd be good for me. So then I'm also putting dark around, not just the top, but also down into the between the petals where they overlap or where they fold. I used to have morning glories. I love them. They kind of take over, but oh, they're so gorgeous. And they only open like once and then they don't open again. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to my 436. And because it's a lighter color right next to this one, it's gonna blend. I don't have to do that special make my own color thing. Just put some more of this and blend it in. And that works. Then we're gonna add blue. We are going to go blue because, you know, when I was looking at like different pictures of um, of the uh, morning glories, just trying to get an idea of the color that I would want to make them, I was just there were blue ones and there were white ones and there were pink ones and there were purple. And I remember the purple, but now that I'm thinking back again. I think it was more of a blue. So then I'm gonna add some of that CG1 green to this center right here. here. I'm gonna use that to help me blend it into a lighter color center. Okay, this is TB5 by Spectrum Noir. And we're just gonna go around and we're going to do some little lines like this and put some down here in the center. I could have gone ahead and done these a different color um, for the stamp set, but you know, if then if you want to combine them, if they're all the same color in the color ones that I offer you, then you are able to use them in the same picture, which is nice. Of course, you could always use them if they were different colors as well, but this way they can be from the same plant. You know, if you want to make them from the same plant, you kind of want them to be the same. And But now the more I'm talking, I'm like, why? Maybe you could have used a different color. I'm not sure. I guess you could have. Okay, so there's the blue. And now I'm going to scribble some of this blue over here on my fancy schmancy. Look at that. It looks like I'm scribbling right over my picture, but I'm not. That is my restaurant palette. Then I'm going to take the lighter purple. This is the 432. 
three, I'm skipping a color, picking up some of that blue, and I'm gonna go in here, kind of blend it in. Pick up some blue, and I'm gonna, I'm going next to the blue streaks that I made and kind of trying to blend it in to the purples. So you'll still see the blue lines, but they aren't jumping off at you. They're there, but we don't want them jumping. You know, we don't want them jumping. No, we want them a little more subtle than that. Just color that. See, just pick up a little color here, put it next to the blue line and just kind of flick it down in there. Well, you might see me scribble back and forth, but I think when I do that, I'm shaking the camera, which isn't good. Okay, so here we see, finish that. Oops, see, I made a little mistake, but we'll fix that. You see that right there? A little bit of blue. Okay, so the last thing I did with the color was to pull the blue down into the pink. And you can see, let me pick up a little more, where I have things that I really don't want to see so sharply, I color them in up here and then pull it down into the pink. And that kind of gets rid of any kind of dark lines. Okay, so now... I'm going to take my other pink, the bright pink, and I'm going to go over my pink again. And what this will do is help also to blend all of these colors. I'm covering all of that area with the pink, the entire area, including the green, not the center green, not the center green. And that little bit of green under the pink helps kind of wash out the color. And there we go. Okay, now we want to make it a little bit lighter in the center because, um, like I said, these morning glories are lighter in the center and I'm looking for my blending pen. I am out another one. This is Spectrum Noir and I always make sure but it's clean there. It's clean. I've tested it. Now, this removes color. So I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to put it underneath my drawing so that the color has somewhere to go once I start removing it. So you can see by looking at this one that it's lighter, but you can still see the green. That's what I want. So that green underneath with the pink and this way we also add a little bit more texture to make it look more flower like it makes it look more translucent so by doing this I am adding alcohol to my color which will wash it out now, unless you've ever seen my other video where I mention this, I will mention it again because I don't want you to make a mistake. When I said you could refill your blending pens with alcohol, and that would be 92 or 93, I'm not sure which, alcohol percent, do not attempt to add alcohol to your colors in your markers. I have tried it once with a friend when her... Prisma colors were very, very, very old and unused and kind of dried up. We said, well, let's add some alcohol. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. <laughs> what happens is 
it, it just removes all the color that's in that marker. The whole felt thing inside just gets washed away and you're left with a blending pen. <laughs> so I suppose, now see here, I removed the blue that I made there before. Yeah. So I suppose that if you wanted to make a blending pen out of an old marker, you could. Just make sure you get rid of all the color. You could really have some fun. You could make all new colors. <laughs> I don't know. I've never done it on purpose. We were just horrified when we realized we ruined those markers, but they were old. She's like, oh, well. Now see how I'm removing the color and it's making that center light. Yeah, I'm even gonna remove some from the very center here. I'm gonna make some little dots. I don't know if they'll show up, but I do like to do that sometimes for texture. But the morning glory is not something that I want to add dots to. The morning glory, no. Okay, so uh, I think now we're going to take a couple of different things and add it. I'm going to use a white jelly roll pen. You probably have one. If you're a card maker, you probably got one of these or something close to it. And looking at this stamp set, the way I would probably put it, although it really doesn't matter because you could probably put this on a card any way you want, I'm just going to add some white lines. And, you know, you want to take your time with these. You know, if you go really fast, they're going to be messy. Kind of take your time and make sure you get a little curve on them to go along with the curve of your leaf. This is going to add to the shape. I'm not putting them all around it. I'm just kind of doing it on one side, just, just to kind of give it a little bit like the light shining on it maybe, maybe here. Okay, maybe one more. So, you know, you could, you could add a little more if you want. You know, I just can't leave well enough alone. That's my problem. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> all right, how about that? Maybe one there. And one there. <laughs> okay, so now I'm done with that and I want to add a little more dark blue. So I'm going to take my Prismacolor Indigo Blue Pencil. I know that was upside down. I did, did, didn't bother to turn it over. And I'm just going to scribble lightly around the edge. And I'm scribbling like this. Not pressing hard. Can you see that? Very light. Can you see it? Very light. And then what that will do after I do a lot of it around all my edges, it will help make it look a little rounder. So that's the last step. I'm not sure I'm supposed to have that music on here. I hope I don't get some kind of a thing going, but I'm not that popular, so. <laughs> I don't know if they'll see it, but you know, I had that on. That's my Alexa playing in the background. George Winston Radio on Pandora. Okay, sorry for the wiggles. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to put my camera on something else, I think. Okay, so now I'm just gonna drag a little blue down these lines just to help them look a little bit more flower-like and not so harsh. But remember the center is lighter, so we don't wanna be putting a lot of shadow down in there. Okay, I've already drawn a little shadow line, so you're good to go there. Up here is where it's dark. That's why I went ahead and did this. Okay, so does that look remotely the same? I hope it does. And I'm gonna stop there because this video is getting super long. But I will finish these and I will share them with you on another video or you'll be able to find them in my Etsy shop. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting my art room and my studio. And if this was fun for you, please give me a thumbs up and comment. I just love comments and questions. So see you later.